place to fly. Look at that. Maybe next time. I don't want to crash in there. So guys, I just want to show you real quick my little travel setup here. This is what I've been touring around with. I got the X-Lite right before I had to start my touring and I absolutely love it because look at the size of this thing. You can just, you know, it's easy. This is my little carry bag that I have there. That's for the X-Lite. I keep the drone in the jumper case. I had the jumper before. The drone fits nicely in there. I put the batteries in here and I'm all ready to go. And I absolutely love this build. So after not flying for a while, I always feel like I've, I've, I've like upgraded my flying, you know, like sometimes to take a break is actually really nice and you come back and it feels brand new and you feel yourself doing different things. Also, guys, I put Betaflight 3.5 on this. I recommend you go get that right now because I think they have changed uh, the set point weight. They have separated it from the PID loop and it's a separate thing now. And they have the feed forward settings. I played with it a bit. I think my feed forward, I put it down to 40 or 50 or something like that. And my set point transition is, uh, I think it's 0.7 or something like that. That's how I usually have it. But this feels absolutely amazing. So I would recommend this to anybody, you know. And uh, please try Betaflight 3.5. I highly recommend it. I felt a difference. I mean, I haven't flown for a while. Maybe it's just my fingers getting used to it again. But yeah, try it out, guys, and enjoy the flight. This is a Runcam uh, DVR that I stuffed in there. Um, this is the uh, Runcam Sparrow 2 with the modified lens here. It's a bit choppy, but I like this lens because it's well small, it's short. Uh, it it kind of has this this effect that I like. I don't know if you can notice it, but you know it kind of has this uh, like almost like a super view look. I don't know how to describe it, but I like it much more than the the stock lens. Um, here is the I don't remember what this VTX is called, it's the HGLRC, the one that has the smart audio. Of course, I broke the uh, display off the top there. Uh, one of these uh, little antennas here. GNB 550, and these motors are the um, Sunny Sky uh, 1106, 5500 kV, and the Avon Mini Props. This is actually my current favorite setup. I don't know what it is about this one, it's, it's light. But it, it, it throws through the air, um, like you know, like it, it flies like a five inch, almost. Like you know, you, you you get that momentum and you can just float forever. And I think because it's aerodynamic, the thin arms, I I just I, I don't know something about this just feels really nice. And I just want to share it with you that you know, if you're thinking of building um, something this size, I highly recommend this setup because I I, I like it. I mean. People are thinking 4S, 4S, I like the 3S because it's, you know, batches are smaller. You know, I, I think this is just a sweet spot. These are my favorite props, the Avan Mini. I mean, they bend a bit easily, but you can bend them back. I've actually broken one of these uh, over here, I think. Actually broken one, but yeah, I was flying pretty hard just now and yeah, that's what happens, but. Also, I have my X-Lite controller. I've been rocking this for, well, you know, I haven't actually had a lot of time to fly because I've been traveling around, but 
traveling with this remote is absolutely amazing i love the little case it's in and i'm yet i'm going to be upgrading these goggles soon i'm going to get the uh commanders uh maybe the hdo but yeah for now this is it and i love it this is my little travel setup 